If you've ever wondered why your cat behaves the way you do, there's no need to wonder further. The inner life of cats. Why do cats purr? Cats purr because they have something to say, roughly saying, please stay still and pay attention to me. Kittens purr to persuade their mothers to continue to nurse and nurture them, and pet cats purr when they want to be petted. There is no doubt that the vibrations emitted by purring have a calming effect on people. Sick cats, however, also purr in distress. Therefore, purring does not always mean I am happy. Some researchers have claimed that the vibrations caused by purring may help heal bone damage in an injured cat. How do cats purr? P. Erring for this reason, cats can purr while inhaling and exhaling. Most species of wild cats can purr, including the cheetah. An exception is the big cats, such as the lion, tiger, and spotted leopard, whose throats have evolved so that they can roar. Why do domestic cats have so many vocalizations compared to wild cats? Domestic cats are more annoying than wild cats, although they have fewer vocalizations than some other species. For example, Asian forest cats have a few additional sounds that are not in the domestic cat's repertoire, namely the oo sound and the cluck sound. The distinctive sound of domestic cats, the meow is hardly audible in colonies of wild cats, except occasionally when mother cats communicate with their young. Wild cats keep an eye on each other's coming and going, so they don't need to vocalize their presence. But cats who live with humans learn that meowing is a good way to get our attention. Our pets often find us staring at a book or screen, and they meow as a way to get our attention. Some domestic cats develop a special language of meowing that only those who have them can understand. Each beep indicates something different that the cat needs. Some breeds are also known for being talkative, especially Siamese cats. Do cats think of their owners as parents, or as brothers, or as friends? When cats rub their bodies on our legs to greet us, they are showing us that they are considerably, but, at the same time, slightly superior to them. When a cat lives in a family of cats, the kittens rub against their mothers, females for males, and smaller kittens for larger cats. The opposite rarely happens, which indicates a slight imbalance of power in each of these relationships. How can you mind indicating a slight power imbalance to make a cat loves you? Cats have a natural affection for those who feed, care for, and play with them, although they don't always show this clearly. But winning cats' trust can be even more difficult, because some cats are nervous. One trick to gaining this confidence is to always allow the cat to get close to you, instead of forcing yourself on it when it wants to. When the cat approaches, treat it with a few treats, and let it go as soon as it wants it. Each time, you will find that they come to you after a shorter time, and stay a little longer. Why do cats sometimes bite or suddenly scratch the person who is petting them? You may have missed the warning signs t they tire of it very quickly, even if they enjoy being petted, T tired off at very ears and a slight trembling of the tail may indicate that they have had enough. If you have such a cat, try to stop petting her every few seconds and let her walk away if she wants to. Can cats get jealous? Research has proven that dogs can feel jealous, so cats can also feel this way. For both types, jealousy is a momentary emotion they feel when they see someone else getting the attention they crave, but they don't remember the jealousy once that moment has passed. Like dogs, cats have a limited concept of time, as they can learn to distinguish between different time periods, but only when these periods are limited to a few seconds. Thinking of the more distant past may be beyond her capabilities. Do cats remember different people, or do they only remember people they see daily? Scientists haven't studied this trait directly, but cats seem to forget about other cats once they've been separated for a long time, so the same may be true for people, too. Dogs, to which humans are much more important, can remember their scent for months, perhaps years. Do fur colors and patterns mean certain personality traits in cats? Cat owners usually think that the color of their fur can indicate the personality of their pet, but there is no evidence that this is generally true. On an individual level, a highly successful male can produce many cats that look and act like him due to their common genes, which may explain how people associate fur color with an animal's personality. Among the well-bred cats, the main types of breeds have distinct personalities, so-called eastern breeds tend to be very active, while western cats are more calm. Crosses of domestic cats and wild cats exhibit stronger personality traits of the breed. For example, Bengal cats, a cross between the domestic cat and the Asian leopard, tend to be very adventurous and bold, sleeping about half the time of the average domestic cat. If you like the video, please like this video and subscribe to the channel.